Have you ever thought how amazing it would be if you could use your smartphone as a webcam? Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Just Don't Read. I am Bhavesh and today I'll show you how you can use your smartphone camera as a webcam. The entire cost of this setup would be just $8. Wait, you can even do it for free. To do so, first you have to go to the app store on your phone and search for Epoch Cam. This video is no way sponsored by Epoch Cam and these are just my personal thoughts. I personally use this app and I have invested my $8 and it is probably one of the best investments in this time of pandemic where online meetings are a thing of daily. This app is available on both Android and iOS devices. There is a free version of this app available, but I would highly recommend that you go and purchase the paid version. There are a lot of differences between the paid and the free version of the app and I'll talk about it later in this video. So go ahead and download the app, but don't open it yet. Next, go to the computer that you would be using this smartphone as a webcam for and visit the website www.kinoni.com. Once you're on the website, scroll down to the step 2 where it talks about downloading the drivers and based on your system, whether it's a Mac or a PC, download the appropriate drivers and install them. Once the drivers have been successfully installed, go ahead and connect your smartphone to your PC via cable. While this app would still work on a Wi-Fi connection, but I would highly recommend that you use a cable for stable connection. Now open the app on your smartphone and first go to the settings option and make sure that the resolution is set to 1920 into 1080. You could leave the other settings as they are for now. You could see a lot of other options on the app screen like you can even use the front cam but I would highly recommend that you use the back cam for better quality because that's what you are using this app for. You can also turn on and off the flashlight depending on the lighting conditions that you are in. So now that you have the app open on both your smartphone and the computer, you are ready to use your smartphone as a webcam for any meeting clients like Skype or Zoom meetings. The paid version comes in with a lot of handy options like the ability to use your back camera, ability to turn on the flashlight, set manual focus and even use your smartphone as an audio source for the meetings. Along with that, the paid version gives you the option to connect your smartphone to your computer via three connections, USB, Wi-Fi and NDI connection. However, in the free version, there's no such options. You can only connect your smartphone to your PC via Wi-Fi. Also in the paid version, there are no ads and no watermark, something which is very annoying in the free version. However, one feature that is common in both the versions of the app is the ability to flip your video horizontally. Other than that, you don't have any other option to mingle around in the free version. There are some other softwares available as well, but with very minimum effort and following the steps that I just mentioned, you should be able to set up your smartphone and use it as a webcam with no difficulty. So if you're someone like me who uses the webcam too much, either for streaming or for meetings, then just invest the money and it would do you good. However, if you're someone who uses the webcam very little but still would like a better video quality, you can use the free version. As you can see, there is a drastic difference between the paid version and the free version of the app. I would highly again suggest you go ahead and invest the money. So hey, I hope you found this video helpful and easy to follow. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing to our channels, a lot of new content coming up and in fact, let me know in the comment section what tutorial or what content would you like to see next. Until then, just don't read.